Today, we're going to be talking about a surgery that goes by several different names, an appendicostomy, an antegrade colonic enema, a Malone procedure, or simply MACE. A MACE can be a life-changing procedure for kids who need daily enemas in order to help prevent accidents and constipation. This surgery makes it possible to perform an enema through a surgically created opening in your child's belly button or stomach. This makes the process much easier and allows older children to take charge of their daily enema routine. A child may have a Malone appendicostomy or MACE procedure when they have a condition that causes difficulty with bowel control. Some examples are anal rectal malformation, Hirschsprung disease, spinal cord problems, severe functional constipation, and cloacal malformation. Before we talk more about the surgery, we want to let you know that Children's Mercy Kansas City is here for you. We understand it can be overwhelming, and we are here to help make the enema process easier now and support your child's health journey in the future. As you can see, MACE surgery creates an easy to reach small hole in the belly button or in the lower right side of the belly. The enema solution that has been prescribed by the healthcare team will enter the hole through a tube or catheter and flush out the colon. It will move in the same direction that poop naturally flows out of the body. May surgery makes it easier for your child to have planned, regular bowel movements, and it can help children, especially older children, feel more in charge. An adult will assist with the enema. Older kids can perform the enema on their own, giving them privacy and control over their poop schedule. No one can see the hole when it's not in use. Kids can participate in most activities, including swimming, after their mace surgery. Malone appendicostomy mace creation is a minimally invasive surgery. A surgeon will make a small cut in the belly and use the appendix, this little finger-like tube here, to connect the colon to the outside of the body, creating an opening. The surgeon then makes a small one-way valve out of your child's own body tissue. This is hidden inside your child's body. It will let the enema solution in, but won't let poop or liquid leak back out. Once the valve is created, the surgeon will put a temporary tube called a mini ace or chait into the opening to keep it open and clear while the newly created valve heals. That tube will stay in place for a few months. Your child will then wear a mace stopper in the opening to keep it from closing for another month. Your healthcare team will let you know when the area is fully healed, at which time your child can then go without any tube or stopper in the opening. Sometimes, children will need to have another temporary tube inserted. This tube connects the colon to the opening in the belly by going through the appendix channel. The external end of the tube fits flat against the skin and has a flapped hinge that opens so your child can receive an enema. The tube will need to be replaced, typically in an outpatient setting that doesn't take long. Chait tubes are changed yearly and many ACEs are changed every three months. Typically, children stay in the hospital one to three days post-surgery to recover and learn how to use and care for the new tube. Your child will have a follow-up appointment one month later to care for the tube and evaluate their pooping or stooling process. The Comprehensive Colorectal Center will be with you the whole way, guiding you as you care for your child through the MACE process. We'll be here afterwards too, to help your child as they work toward regular daily bowel movements and a healthy, functional digestive system.